présenté par Black Magic Design en partenariat avec CEV. On est au bout de Avid. On va regarder les nouveautés dans Pro Tools 12.5, plus, plus spécifiquement euh, la collaboration. Alors, je suis avec Greg et Omar ici qui vont nous faire une petite démo de ce que ça peut faire. Hi Greg. Hello, how are you? I'm good, yourself? Good, thank you. So, uh, can you show us about collaboration in Pro Tools? Absolutely. So, we're going to do a quick little demo. Uh, my friend Omar here, uh, we're going to show a little commercial spot and uh, some, some of the workflows in collaboration. Uh, Omar has the commercial and he'll kind of be the owner of the project and I'll be the composer that comes in. So, hand it over to Omar. Exactly. Yo. So now in Protos 12.5, you can see that on the dashboard you have a new option of call sign in. You have to be signing into your Avid Master account in order to create a project, right? So the other new thing that you will show up, it will show up on the dashboard is that you have the option of creating a project and create a session. When you create a project, everything All the media will be on our um, storage, or the session will remain local in your hard drive. So once you select the project, I can type the name of the demo, and it just uh, it will open as a blank slate, just the same as a session, right? So I can start recording, editing, and do everything that I need. So just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to import session data from a session that I already have created created on my local hard drive. Okay. So I'm just going to bring this Nike commercial, and the things that I have in this project are the sound effects. As soon as it's available, I can press play and, you, and we can hear what I have been working with. That's pretty much everything I have. I have the sound effects of, of this commercial, of the tennis that it's creating with the computer, right? So what I need to add to this is the music, okay? And I'm not a musician, so I'm going to search for somebody to help me creating the music and actually I know a really good DJ called Strike, he's a personal friend. Uh, so on Pro Tools 12.5 you also have this new window called Artist Chat, right? On the Artist Chat window is where you can see all your contacts and your current projects and also the chat that you can have between your uh, actual contacts. So here I have the demo that I just created and I'm gonna add a collaborator to it. So I just click here and add strike in this case to help me with the music so we have this artist chat window where you can actually chat with him and say like hey greg could you help me with the music for the nike commercial okay so now on greg's computer you will see that he has a a, a notification and he will t help you going through on miami right <laughs> all right So Greg? So yeah, as Omar said, uh, he's invited me to the project. In my artist chat, I've got a notification, and you can see here that he's invited me to collaborate on this project. Now there's another uh, window. Uh, let's say I'm, if I'm in Pro Tools, I'll get a notification there as well. But if I happen to be in my dashboard, um, I'll get a notification here under projects as well, just so you're aware. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and accept his invitation to the project, and I can see here that now shows up under my project list. Once I click it, I can see what he's already shared in the project, and I can see his message, hey Greg, could you help me with the music for the Nike commercial? And I'll say, sure, let's go. So at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up the project. So let's go ahead and open a project here under my dashboard. There it is, double click it, I'm already signed in. So um, as Omar mentioned, there's nothing populated in the project yet, uh, but here I am ready to go, and I'm going to go ahead and leave my artist chat up, And I'm going to pull up my task manager as well, so I can actually take a look at to see uh, when tracks are uploading and downloading. So at this point, Omar is going to go ahead and send some stuff over for me to uh, to work on. Okay. Yeah. So basically, as I am the owner of the project, I can decide what I want to share with Greg. Uh, for me, it makes no sense to send him the entire project or the entire media that I have because he only needs like a reference to start building the music, right? So what I'm going to do. It's, I'm going to share with him only one track, which is actually an auxiliary track. And I'm going to have this new cool feature called Share as Frozen. So basically, as all of you guys know, 
auxiliary track doesn't have any audio on it. So now the capability of sharing a frozen track is, and in, in this case an auxiliary track, is that Pro Tools is reading the input that is feeding this auxiliary track with all the plugins, all the uh, mix that have been done on the sound effects, and it's going to create a clip, an audio clip, and it's going to send that over to Greg, right? So it's already done. I'm going to open the artist chat again and let him know that sound effects coming your way. Okay, so now Greg should have a, a notification of that I have sent something with him. Okay. So yes, as you can see here, I, I just got the notification. I pulled up my artist chat to see what Omar said. He's telling me that the tracks are coming my way. And I can also see that these tracks are also, you know, uh, populating uh, in, into my local cache almost. And I've got my main notification up at the top right here, which is letting me know that I have tracks to download. Okay. So I'm, I, we have auto off right now. We do have the option of having everything automatic where I don't even need to see the notification. It'll automatically populate. But for the purpose of the demo, we're going to go ahead and leave that off. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to download the track. So here, you said you said it's it's on your cache. Is it cloud-based? All the data is cloud-based. It, it it is cloud-based, but once we start working and everything, you know, we, we need the tracks kind of locally to be able to do the work. Okay. And of course, we're working with a lot of metadata as well. So in a little bit, one of the examples I'll show you is how quick we're able to work with tracks that are already populated in the session or the project rather, and how easy and quick it is to go back and forth. So as you can see here, I've got the 5.1 stem uh, from uh, from Omar. So again, he didn't need to send me all the bits and pieces. I just needed to get a reference. So I've got it here now. I can play back. I can you know, give it a listen. And now I've got an idea for what I want to do with the music. So um, as Omar said, I'm you know, in my studio kind of creating music. For the purpose of the demo, I'll just go ahead and import uh, what that would look like or might possibly sound like. And I'm going to use a session here uh, just of uh, music for the, for the commercial. So I'll go ahead and import this using session data import. So now I've got all this music that I've worked so hard on in the last uh, 20 seconds ready to go all down here. Now, because Omar's the project owner, one of the workflows, perhaps he's going to be mixing this entire uh, spot together or someone else is going to mix it. So of course I could sub this out just as a two track, but we're going to continue working on it. Possibly he's going to mix it. So I can actually share all these tracks individually. So while he shared a sub with me, I can share all the tracks back with him. For the sake of, of you know, the internet in here, how slow it is and everything, I'll just go ahead and share a couple of the tracks. So I'll do a couple of the strings just by clicking share, and you can see that two things happen. In my task manager, that automatic, uh, automatically starts uploading, um, and in the artist chat, uh, there's a notification saying that I'm sharing tracks. I'll let him know, I mean, you know just a personal note, coming your way and he'll uh, get a notification both in his message window and his download window. So while you go over to Omar, he's going to walk you through what he does with that. Actually, there's going to be a mistake that I work on over here, then we'll show you some of the metadata workflow. Okay, so Omar? Exactly. Yeah, so on my side, I don't have the artist chat uh, window open, but you can see here in this new tab on the edit window, this is the collaboration tab. So here, it, when it turns green, it means that I have a message that I haven't seen on the artist chat, so tracks are coming your way, perfect. So uh, also this one turns green, and it's for downloading all the shared tracks. Thanks. Thanks. Anyway, so you can see now that I have these tracks here. So I have the strings, I have the flute, I have everything. So the only thing that I need to do is, in order for me to hear it, I just have to change the output to my actually uh, output and I can hear on Greg what Greg has been working on there's a string okay so I can do whatever with that let's say I want to cut there I want to cut here and then I want to use a new uh, function in Pro Tools 12.4 called uh, the batch fade that that's included in Pro Tools 12.4 or 5 so, I don't know but uh, you, you can do basically uh, a lot of fades on different clips at the same time right okay. so as you can see here, I have on my tracks, I have the option of uploading my changes or downloading changes. And in this particular case on the, on the flute track, you can see that I have both up and down arrows turned into yellow. That means that I did some changes, but also Greg did some changes. And actually, Greg is asking me to relieve the ownership of a track in order for him to send me something. So what I can do here is just right click on my upload arrow and say like uh, abandon changes right or i just can do it's click on the download arrow 
and I can see Greg's changed already, right? Mm. So you can see now that uh, he sent me a track that contains a plugin that I actually don't have on my rig, believe it or not, I don't have some plugins on our demo system. So I have, uh, I just gonna say yes, okay? And he's he, Pro Tools is, go is gonna take me to the marketplace to search for that specific plugin. Right now, it only works for Avid plugins, the marketplace, but we're talking with third-party plugins in order for you to directly inside of Pro Tools going to this area, the marketplace, so you can rent or buy the plugin that you don't have. And the good thing of doing through the app is will be that you can download the plugin, instantiate the plugin, license the pro plugin, and everything while you're still running Pro Tools and you don't have to quit and then at any single point. You can keep going and going and going. So that is gonna really cool feature that we're gonna implement later this, uh, this year probably. I've okay. actually, just as an additional example, I've just resent the entire thing, shared as frozen. So uh, Omar, if you want to show what it looks like, uh, shared as frozen. Sure, so basically you can see that I don't have the plugin active, so I can basically don't hear what Greg did, right? So the only thing that I need to do is download again, and boom, the, the track now is shared as frozen. So now I have exactly the same sound that Greg did because the plugin and the entire track is frozen. So I can hear exactly the flute as, as Greg intended me to, to work with and mix with it. So basically that's like, this is like the general idea of the cloud collaboration. You can back and forth send, sending stuff. And also at the end, the owner of the project can, and actually all the collaborators in the project can save a copy in your hard drive in order to back up the entire project. If you want, you can put it on your hard drive, whatever. But is this available only for the, the, the person who's owner of the project or for everybody that work on it? Everybody, everybody who, who works on the project, he, he can do a safe copy in and save this project as a session locally in your hard drive. Okay. Perfect. So thank you guys. Thank you. Alors, euh, ben, ça vous donne un, un exemple de qu'est-ce qu'il y a de nouveau sur Pro Tools. Alors, Pro Tools 12.5, comme vous pouvez voir, est euh, très différent. Beaucoup de nouveautés, entre autres la collaboration qui permet de, de rapidement, euh, sans, aucune, sans aucun délai de download et d'upload, pouvoir travailler plusieurs sur le même projet. Euh, ça peut être pratique euh, si, mettons, exemple, quelqu'un enregistre des voice-over à une place différente. Où il y a plusieurs. En, en musique, c'est très utile, mais ça pourrait être très utile aussi en télévision. Alors, euh, c'est tout ce qu'il y a de nouveau présentement sur Avid. Merci.